how good an actor you become matters only to you. Remember that. You'll meet people along the way who'll help you, who'll hold your hand for a while. But then they'll go their own ways, they have their own things in life to do. How good an actor you become is entirely up to you alone. Even your parents don't care. They're only concerned whether you can earn your bread. They're not concerned with whether you become the greatest actor in the world. They would rather you got two square meals a day. It's up to you to decide how good you want to become. And never feel you've learned enough because there is no such thing as the perfect actor. There is no such thing as the perfect performance. Because perfection is the next stage before death and I don't think anybody wants that yet. You cannot achieve perfection but you must keep striving for it. That's all there that is. So traditional, in fact, that I suspect he's rather bored of that description. So I'm not going to call him India's finest actor, though of course he is. But I'm going to focus on something else, on how innovative he's been. He started out with art cinema, moved to commercial cinema. He's done television, he's anchored cricket shows, and he's done theatre. Many, many things, no? Many, many different things. I guess that's what makes life worthwhile, Veer. You've got to try everything that you feel you should and, and attempt to grab at every dream you've ever had. So I've had dreams earliest ones of being an actor. I also had dreams of being a cricketer. I also had dreams of being a filmmaker. I always wanted to be on the stage. Mm -hmm. So I, I consider myself uh, pretty blessed that I've had the opportunity to try my hand at all these Anything things. Anything you wanted to do that you haven't done so far? Yeah, I really, really want to make a film. What? I was a little child, my mother told me to listen to my mother. But after that, I don't remember that I've never made a connection with anyone like that. Connection with anyone. And that to me is the most stimulating thing. Or I see the age stage, but Jata, who may she think Bilkul Nay Bagara. Or now, man, who had to come as a whole around, Jinko Gabrat Mesos with here. Mira can a Yaki Gabrat Mesos, Nayoni Jayako. Junke Joab Karnejare, eh? Up the Yare, Dunyako Pesa de Nikiri to let you do it. On the other hand, you're being paid to do it. And you're getting the acclaim, and you're getting uh, the appreciation, and you're getting the love. Of thousands of people. So, what is the problem? What is the problem? But priorities are skewed. I am not going to do anything. I am not going to do anything. Instead of following the dictum, just like a dictionary, it is a act, a c t. Shabd act is a good thing to do. Act is a good thing to do. It is a dialogue. It is a good thing to do. It is a good thing to do. Yeah, 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 what attractive lagna vagera vagera. It means to do. Now, if an actor looks at his work in this way, I think it's healthy. Agar wo sve ho jata hai in baton se, jo ke bari temporary hai, or jis jo ke aapko bhot asani se mil jayenge agar aapko bhot unki shadid khwaish hai to. It's a decision which every actor has to make. Talent, uh, the, the according to me, talent is directly proportional to the amount of effort you put in. Mm. Nobody's born with talent. Mm. We are all born with abilities, which some of us lose. The ability to sing, for example, the ability mm. to swim, mm. the ability to to bear your soul, mm. the ability to have quick reflexes, whatever. Some of us lose them, some don't. Yes. Those, who, those who don't yes. are, are the lucky ones. Yes. So, and, and to quote uh, uh, Grotowski, yes. there is no such thing as talent, but there is such a thing as lack of talent. Yes. And lack of talent occurs when you're not in your right place. I failed in class nine. You failed? I got zero in trigonometry. I got five out of hundred in physics it's and just a science subject, sir. Yeah, uh, and so on. So my dad pulled me out of this place, which he said was too expensive for an idiot like me, and he put me into a school where he thought he could keep an eye on me. And as fate would have it, in this school, which was run by Indian Jesuit priests in Ajmer, a school called Saint Anselm's, I got together a group of friends, and we did uh, selections, scenes from 
The Merchant of Venice, in which I played Shylock, in which I did a close imitation of my all-time favorite actor, Jeffrey Kendall. And suddenly, my whole life changed. Just because you went to a less prestigious school, I oddly went, enough. Yeah, yes. where I went to a less okay, prestigious I, I want to talk about that change in your life. I want to talk about becoming an actor. At the end of the last segment, your father had pulled you out from this prestigious school where you were, where you were very unhappy. You'd gone to St. Anselm's in Ajmer and you'd found your vocation. Yes, it was amazing, Veer, how that one night of being on stage for the first time in my life, I remember being completely terrified. This is Shylock. Yeah, okay. when the curtain opened and I was staring into this black space and all these lights were shining into my face. For like two seconds, I felt completely terrified, like on the edge of an abyss. But then I started speaking and I heard a bit of laughter and a bit of approval. And I can honestly say that that was the first taste of acceptance that, that I've had in my life. And I immediately felt this is where I belong. Really? So this that was is, really the turning point in your the, life? It was the turning point in my life. And then I went on to do one play after another in school. Funnily, my grades improved. I made it into but the school cricket team. Confidence, yeah? Yeah, in, in everything. My whole life changed and I became quite a cat in that school because of my, my theatre work. Really? And, uh, and so I can never stop feeling this immense gratitude mm -hmm. to the theatre. And thus, there has never been a parting of ways uh, between theatre and myself. Did movies... I think it's a good thing to say that 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 it's बिल्कुल सब कुछ करना चाहिए एक्टर को कि एक्टिंग कभी भी सीखी नहीं जाती पूरी जिंदगी लग जाती है सीखने में और जितने आपकी जितनी आपकी उम्र बढ़ती जाती है उतना और कुछ सीखने के लिए होता है नई नई डिस्कवरीज पैदा होती रहती हैं और अपने आप में विश्वास मत हारो बट थिएटर स्टिल ब्रिंग्स मी जॉय टीचिंग स्टिल ब्रिंग्स मी ग्रेट जॉय आई एंजॉय टीचिंग मोर देन आई एवर एंजॉयड एक्टिंग which is saying a lot hmm. yeah i love uh, 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 interface with young actors i love uh, uh, talking to them listening to them uh, looking at the dreams in their eyes and yeah it's hmm. it's just wonderful and uh, and and i and i and i like to use the word the term uh, helping them to learn hmm. i don't consider myself a teacher hmm. I, i'm not a very learned man but I, I try to help them to learn because I've met people along the way who helped me to learn. Mm. And there's only that much that you can do. So I'm careful never to take the credit for, for their achievements. Because acting is learnt, it isn't taught. <laughs>